All right guys, so we were back from New Mexico. I had a dentist appointment today. I just got my teeth cleaned. And the dentist appointment is right over there across the street from the lake. And if that isn't a sign that I should be fishing right now, then I don't know what is. So, I got my poles, got my chair, and today we're at Medi Park, gonna do some trout fishing. And like I said in the last three or four videos, if I catch some trout, I'm going to do a catch and cook video. I have been trying to catch some trout to eat for the past week and a half now. It has not been working. So hopefully today we can catch some trout. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to be using this corn gulp power bait. As always, this stuff works real well for trout. I'm just going to throw this little piece of corn power bait on the hook. And then I'm going to throw a salmon egg on the hook as well and this is a pretty killer bait for trout so that should do it and that's just on a salmon egg size hook the packaging is called salmon egg it's not really a size but it's really small you want the smallest possible hook and a line for trout they're very line finicky if they see a line they're not gonna bite gonna do that same setup for both poles I would love to be able to jig for some trout out here but they just they don't bite on jigs out here these guys they they love the power bait that's all they eat that's all their bite on I hate sitting here fishing I'm not very patient and I would love to be walking the bank throwing a jig but it just does not work here so you gotta do what works if you want to catch fish oh I got oh already got the bite already got the bite I'm pretty sure I lost it. Man, I already got a freaking bite. That is awesome. That is a good sign. Man, I was kind of worried because no one else is out here, but that was the fastest bite I've ever gotten. It's been in the water for like 20 seconds. Dang, that was awesome. Okay, I'm happy that was shut because I would have spilled them all. That is a good sign, guys. Hopefully today we catch some trout and I'll go home and cook them up. I'm ready. I've been ready. I was like tripping over the pole, tri trying to worry about this stuff, and I missed the set. Hope we catch some big trout today. Man, that would have been great. First 20 seconds in the water. That was exciting, man. Hopefully it stays like that. If we can get a constant bite, it will be a fun night of fishing. I have about two hours of daylight left, so we gotta kick it in the butt and get some fish on. It's a pretty nice day today. It is cold, but the sun is out. Not many clouds, not much wind, so it feels pretty good today. I am wearing gloves. It is that cold, but uh, you know, just got to ignore the cold and enjoy the fishing. fish on come on take it take it there, gotta be patient take it please take it well there's a second bite and they're for sure bites it's been about probably 10 or 15 minutes I may move down that direction just a little bit because they're biting on that side I mean that might not be much of a difference but they could be in that one spot. Trout don't really stay in one spot. They move all around, but for some reason they're biting on that side, not this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and move down. I'm gonna move over like 20 feet. Should do. So if the corn doesn't work, I'm going to switch over to this power bait dough. These are really the two options that work really well out here. Some days the corn works, and then some days the dough works. So. Just gotta test them out and see which one works for that day. Getting a bite, getting a bite. I'm gonna test something out here. Usually when I reel it in, is when they take it. 
They're nibbling on it, but not taking it. I need them to take it. Oh, that line's getting tight. There we go. Come on. Like I said, they're nibbling on it, but they're not taking it. Come on. All right, guys. Fish on, I think. Yes. Fish on. Yes. First fish of the day. It's a little small guy. That's actually not bad. That's decent. I am going to keep this guy, so I'm not worried about wetting my hands. Yeah, he swallowed the hook good there. All right, so there is the first fish of the day. It feels good to finally catch a fish. The last two times I've been out here, I got skunked. This is the third bite. The first two bites I missed, and then I finally landed this one. Come on, fish. Chill, chill. Get you back in the water in a second. There was the first catch. Pretty good. Good size for here. They're not that big here. There are some decent ones, but most of them are about that size. All right, guys. So we got fish number one on the stringer. I am in Texas. There's no size limit, and the limit or bag limit is five. So we got four more to catch. I said earlier I'm using salmon egg hooks. They are really, really small. You want the smallest hook possible for a trout. They have really small mouths and they're really finicky. Like they're scared of line, they're scared of big hooks. They can see it. So you have to use really small terminal and tackle for trout. Toe draw, moving down, 20 feet worked. This lake is pretty shallow, but the biggest fish that I reeled in was like right off the bank right here. It was like 10 feet off the shore. And it was so big. I felt like I wanted to go deep, but I guess you don't really need to. They're everywhere. Trout go everywhere. Most fish will group up in one spot and stay there, but trout, they separate. They're swimming all around. They're everywhere. So you never know where trout are going to be. Oh, there's a hit. Come on, take it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yes, we got it. We got it. There is number two for the rainbow trout. It's been about 20 minutes since that first fish. Man, he swallowed that thing too. There we go, guys. Trout number two. Going on the stringer. Got the bite. Just waiting for it to take it. Take it. There it is. There it is. Yes. Oh, it feels big. It feels good. It's a good size. It's a fighter. It's a fighter. Come on, get over here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Heck yes. That is the biggest trout I've caught out here for sure. These, man, these trout are beautiful. A rainbow trout. That is a good size. I'm happy with that. Right on the side of the mouth. That was a good catch. Heck yeah. I'm... That is beautiful, man. That's the trout I want right here. Open your mouth, buddy. Chill, man. Calm down. You'll be right back in the water. I promise. I promise you. Easy hook out. Beautiful trout. Biggest one I caught yet. I'm pumped, man. That is awesome. That is a good keeper right there. Put him on the stringer. That was an awesome catch right there, man. That was sick. And there's number three. <sighs> good day of fishing. It's not fast, but it's good. And I think I figured out what I need to do. The last two fish, I took off the corn and was using only the salmon eggs. So that is what is working tonight. 
just salmon eggs no dough no corn just popping two of these salmon eggs on the salmon egg hook and that is what is working so like i said earlier you gotta test out different baits and see what works for that day and today it's the salmon eggs man it's gotten cold <laughs> i can't even breathe right now it's so cold there it is that's what's working today come on trout i need two more and then i can get out of this cold weather man it got like 10 degrees colder since i last talked to y'all guys it's freezing i'm not layered up today just got on one layer i just left the dentist came straight out here and it is pretty cold now <laughs> i swear it dropped like 20 degrees in five minutes sun's going down that's the problem God, i'm shaking so bad it's getting dark and it's getting cold we got three fish which i'm happy with i do want to challenge myself and do five get a get a full stringer i'm gonna stay out here a little bit longer but once it gets dark i'm going to call it a night and then go home and we will cook up some trout can't wait to try it got a family of ducks here i can't cast just yet all right guys i'm going to go ahead and call it it is so freaking cold i'm shivering i can barely talk my toes are so cold i'm wearing adidas and they're basically just letting all the cold air in so i'm gonna go home clean these fish and then we will cook them up and try trout for the first time we caught three and i'm happy i'm happy to get out of this cold weather Hi.